Hey guys, um, I got a question on my page just from one of the guys who's following my um, a mass building nutritional program I did for him. He's just wondering, hey Brian, just wondering if you have any tips for adding a bit of mass to my legs. I don't have chicken legs or anything, but I could bolt them up a little. Just using conflicting supersets at the moment, four sets of eight back squats, maybe four sets of 20 goblet squats, superset with lunges, step ups as well. Um, Basically, I think I can support you quite a bit because legs were a body part that I struggled to bring up for years. Um, I always had quite a good upper body, um, arms, shoulders, abs, but my legs were always something that I really, really struggled with. And now, probably in the last six months or so, they've become one of my strongest body parts. Um, and this was really because I learned how to train them and how to connect with them properly. Um, for years, I did squats, uh, front squats, back squats, leg press, and I was going pretty heavy because you hear to go he to go heavy, build big legs, you need to go pretty heavy. Um, that worked fine and it added a lot of thickness to my legs. Um, and if it's thickness you're looking for, lifting heavy weight for the 8 to 10 rep range, even drop it as low as 6 in your rep range, is going to bring up your legs. It's going to give a thickness. Um, to your quads, to your hamstrings, and even to your glutes if you go deep enough into a squat. However, that's not what brought up my legs. Um, what I learned was my foot position, for one, decreasing the weight and focusing on squeeze for two, and just hammering them with high volume for three. They're the three things that brought up my legs. Um, next time I do a leg session, I'll try and get a photo and I'll put it down below, just so people can see. I'm, I'm doing the fitness extravaganza in September, um, so I'll have short shorts on, um, so hopefully I'll be able to put up a couple of pictures of my legs then, because I'll be covering them for the men's physique um, in October. But I recommend to you, what, a program that has worked for me is the Dramatic Transformation Principle, the DTP, on squats, on Smith squats, um, so that's the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 rep range with a minute rest in between each set. That made my legs explode. I used it all the way up to Miami Pro um, and my legs were one of my best body parts on stage. What I recommend is, and I tell this to everybody who's struggling to bring in the shape that they want and quality of the muscle into their legs, is focus on the squeeze at the top of each rep and at the bottom of each rep. What I do is, when I'm starting each set on squats, I get my foot position, literally weight through your heels, you should be able to wiggle your toes, shoulders back, squeezing through your quads, and then drop it into the rep, and squeezing all the way through. What I always say is make every rep count, don't count every rep. So if you're going for 10 reps, do 10 perfect squeeze focused reps um, on your set of squats, and that will start to bring in your, the condition in your legs. And also another trick that I've used is foot position. So the wider you go with your feet, you're going to hit more teardrop, like inside of your quads. The closer and narrower you go, you're going to hit more of your outer quads. So you're going to bring in that sweep uh, and bring in that muscle definition in between your quads. Like your quads and legs are a massive muscle group. You've got four muscles in your leg, or in your quad, and you want to be able to hit and target each one um, individually. So, recommendation is, try that DTP program, but even if you don't go down that high volume route, because that was what worked for me, it may not work for you, I definitely recommend you focus on the squeeze of every single rep. And you probably have to drop the weight by 70, 60, even 50%, because you're going to be squeezing each rep. Um, so I hope this helps.